You can make all the gambling analogies you want, but over the past five years, Atlantic City has been rolling snake eyes. Five casinos closed, thousands out of work, a local tax explosion, and finally, a state takeover. But Mayor Frank Gilliam, who spoke today to the South Jersey Chamber of Commerce, says this city is dealing from a new deck now. What evidence is there to suggest that there's a turnaround on the way here? Well, you can almost feel the, um, the energy in the air. We, we have uh, Stockton, which, Stockton University, which will be um, opening in 2018. Uh, we have South Jersey Gas uh, corporate offices that's also going to be opening in 2018. We have Hard Rock uh, Casino that's going to be opening um, in 2018. We have uh, the Ocean uh, Resort, which is the old Revel that's going to be opening in 2018. What's that mean for the typical Atlantic City uh, think, resident? Um, it, mean, it means jobs. It means that we're going to be putting uh, some of those eight to 10,000 people who lost jobs from the closing of casinos back to work. That laundry list of progress was not created in a vacuum. The state takeover, despite its political pains and the harsh austerity it imposed, has helped to make some of the city's current rebound possible. Still, the mayor says he'd be happy to show the state the door. It could not be any faster. Uh, I'm a firm believer that the state can be a partner. Um, we all know that that hasn't been the case in Atlantic City, uh, but they have to basically take the noose off of my neck. Meaning the ability to pick his team and call his own shots. But the mayor says he's optimistic, and part of that comes from the fact that there's a new governor. While Murphy hasn't set a date for an Atlantic City exit, officials here expect a much lighter touch and an open door from the new governor. I'm also encouraged by the governor and uh, Lieutenant Governor Oliver uh, uh, appointing Jim Johnson to come down here. I think that's a positive move. Uh, Jim Johnson's a talented career servant, and I think that uh, it'll work out. Johnson, a former Treasury Department undersecretary and a gubernatorial candidate, won't be the new face of the state takeover. So far, Jeff Chiesa remains in that job, although for how long seems in doubt. Instead, Johnson will be working on a plan for the city after the state leaves. Do you welcome his presence? I welcome, I welcome anyone's presence who are coming to uh, help the city and, and figure out ways that we can improve ourselves. Um, I would dare be uh, closed-minded to anyone who's supposed to be coming to the city to help uh, change the conditions. So I'm looking forward to sitting down with Mr. Johnson. The mayor says success in 2018 should be measured in the thousands, thousands of new jobs, thousands of new visitors, and most optimistically, thousands of new residents. And after the string of bad luck this city has seen, that would be most welcome news indeed. In Atlantic City, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.